Hello, this is Jeff Zarley again from Let's Truck. Today we're going to basically discuss each individual readout from your gauge screen and exactly what they mean. Um, keep in mind that the scan gauge is simply reading what your ECM is putting out. Um, so whatever parameters it's putting out, the scan gauge is reading that directly. Um, obviously all four here are set on boost. We're going to concentrate today just on the upper left hand corner to keep it simple. Um, boost in most ECMs is actually read in inches of mercury, which is roughly double what a normal PSI or pound per square inch reading is, which you would normally see on your dashboard or an aftermarket gauge. So uh, that's pretty common. It's, it's point 0.1 right now because the engine is shut off. So BST stands simply for boost. We'll move on to the next one here, which is MPG. That is your instant mile per gallon as you're going down the road. That is the eight second smoothed over average updated every one second. That is what most of us drivers are gonna follow as we're going down the road to get the best fuel economy, best gear, best speed, best RPM, all that. Uh, let's move to the next one. MPH obviously is mile per hour going down the road. Uh, next one, RPM, obviously revolutions per minute of your engine should match your tachometer, or if your tachometer is broke, this should work just fine, exactly the same. TPS, throttle position sensor, that is the sensor connected to your accelerator pedal on the floor. This is read in a percentage between 0 and 100%. You will actually see it change as you move the pedal on the floor. Um, average going down the road is anywhere between 30 and 50 percent in most trucks. This is also a good way to diagnose if you think that sensor is bad. You can check it with your scan gauge and see if it moves up and down. Next one, Fahrenheit water temperature. You can also in the metric system, this can be Celsius. This current engine is running at 193 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the same as your temperature readout on your dash should be pretty close anyway. Um, reading it directly from the ECM in an electronic form. AVG is the average fuel mileage since the last time you shut your key off for three minutes or more. So this number is going to vary. Um, if you don't shut your truck off all day long, that'll be your average throughout the day. So on and so forth. Three minutes or more, that resets to zero and it'll be your average. Next one, dollar sign PA is your dollars, a total dollars per trip A. And what that is, is it's adding up your profit um, that we inputted during your fuel up in the last video per trip A. And trip A, we're going to do a, a video on also on the trips function. But A is just a letter to reference to one trip that you reset at your choice. You hit the reset button. Um, it'll recount. If you want to compare one load today versus one load tomorrow, um, you reset trip A whenever you want. It's going to add up your profit right here, and you could watch it going down the road. Trip B is also the exact same thing, just a different trip to relate to. Um, and then we'll go ahead and this one's showing a negative just because the parameter has not been reset on this one yet. Dollar per mile, this is the big one. Um, when you put in your fuel rate during your fuel up, this is what is going to change as you're going down the road. Your actual profit after fuel, if you add your total rate you're getting paid on the load, which is say $1.50, um, then going down the road, as you change your foot on the accelerator, this number is going to go up and down, and you'll be able to watch how much gross profit your truck is making after fuel. VLT is obviously voltage coming directly out of your alternator. Um, while it's running, this is anywhere between 13.8 and 14.2. Right now the engine is off. We got a nice healthy battery at 12.4 volts. FIA, Fahrenheit Intake Air Temperature. That is the temperature that is being sucked into your turbocharger. Um, some engines, it is actually after the charge air cooler. It is the temperature that is of the air that is entering your combustion chamber going down the road. This one is showing unusually high just because I have the sensor set that way. It is thinking that the 
the intake air temperature is 184 degrees in Fahrenheit. The next one, TFT, is transmission fluid temperature. Some trucks can read this, some cannot. Um, it is a good thing to watch if you don't have a gauge. Um, if there is a sensor on there and it connects to your engine ECM, scan gauge can read it. But like I said, some trucks can't. GPH is gallon per hour. How much fuel you are burning per hour. This is fantastic to watch while you're idling. Which RPM to set while you're at idling. Anybody running a PTO or power takeoff in a tanker or a dry bulk situation. Um, you can set your RPMs. You want this number as low as possible, obviously, to the least amount of fuel burning per hour while you have to run whatever you have to run on that truck. So it's a, it's a great way to determine how much fuel you're burning at an idle or when the truck is not moving. Oil, engine oil pressure. That is what that is. This engine right now thinks it's at 86 and a half pounds. This is in PSI of engine oil pressure, an electronic reading from your ECM. And LOD is your load factor. This is in a percentage between 0 and 100. That is the percentage of load on your engine. Basically how much it is loaded down as if you were on a dyno. And uh, what we basically want to do is get that number as low as possible um, while we're going down the road. If you want to watch that, it's a good thing to watch sometimes. And HPR, pretty obvious, horsepower. Um, this comes from the factory a little bit low, the reading on most ECMs. Um, they're putting out anywhere between, I found, 15 and 40% on the low side. So there is a way to adjust that in your HP adjust settings. And uh, I usually crank that up about 20%. And Anyway, you can watch your horsepower going down the road. You can set this on a dyno also to have it perfectly accurate. At full load, you're going to set your horsepower at whatever your engine's rated. And then you obviously keep that as low as you can going down the road. And then we're back at square one at boost. Um, there's no advanced X gauges in this video. Not yet, but these are the basic scan gauge KR readouts that you will get brand new out of the package. I hope you enjoy it.